Over the weekend, uh, the airport in Kabul remained secure. However, as many have seen already, CENTCOM released a statement regarding a, uh, an incident to report as a, no U.S. casualties or partner force or uh, coalition forces were involved, but regrettably, an Afghan security force member uh, lost his life. As the President uh, referenced last night in his remarks, we are in communication with the Taliban for the establishment and sustainment of several checkpoints to increase throughput and facilitate safe passage for individuals working to gain access to the airport. Today, the number of troops at the airport continues to stand at 5,800. Commanders on the ground continue to actively monitor threats. Uh, they are empowered to make the appropriate force protection decisions. As always, U.S. forces retain the inherent right to use force in self-defense. We are using all of our available tools to maintain the highest threat awareness, both in Afghanistan and throughout the globe. While this mission is not without risk, the safety of our personnel, American citizens and Afghan evacuees at risk is of paramount importance. To wrap up, we continue to make progress in the completion of this mission. Since the end of July, we have relocated approximately 42,000 people. Since the beginning of evacuation operations on August 14th, we have evacuated approximately 37,000. All of this progress stems from the teamwork, professionalism, and dedication of our military, our interagency colleagues, and our allies and partners. We know more hard work remains in the coming days, and uh, we're absolutely prepared to meet that challenge. Thank you.